What's going on everyone? Happy Wednesday. Hopefully everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy, having a great day so far. If you had to take a test for any of the viruses, including COVID, flu, or any other virus, I hope you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long-term issues and no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Wednesday edition of the Virus Update for Wednesday, May 28th, 2025. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily virus update on all those viruses that can make us sick. Oftentimes, we do a data-filled update for my computers at home. Today, we are doing an out-in-the-wild virus update. Yes, something we have not done in a few weeks. Time to time, we do do virus updates out on location, out in the wild, and I give you an update on what I am seeing and what is going on. But hey, we will talk about some news today as well, because you know what? You need to be informed with what is going on with all these different viruses. Want to stay informed? Subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, and leave your comments down below. Alrighty, we're doing one of those out in the wild updates. Some people do like these updates. If you don't, don't worry. A data field update is coming again tomorrow. It's a rather slow news day, so I figured rather than me rush home to uh, try and fill a 20-minute video, data field video, let's just uh, roll with this. And there are a few things I want to talk about anyhow that's not necessarily data related and this is a good way of doing it all right starting off with a few news and notes first off philadelphia my city yesterday had 757 ems calls reported that's actually uh, not a bad number considering we are coming off of a holiday weekend and mind you we are not in the summer COVID surge yet and to be honest with you the weather has not been all that warm here you may notice it is may 28th and here I am in a jacket and a raincoat. Yeah, we're having rain today, so heat-related illnesses in my area are not really a thing yet. Uh, that may pick up the pace next week. Things are going to be heating up for a lot of the United States next week, so heat-related illnesses may start becoming a bigger deal. They already are uh, becoming a big deal in the southern states and portions of the southwest U.S. In Hawaii, this note today, Hawaii, um, teen ER visits for covid yeah, they're increasing right now. Hawaii's one of the states that we have to watch early on in the United States to see what happens to kind of give us an indicator of what could be to come for the rest of the summer. I think there's going to be several states. California may be one of them, uh, perhaps Arizona, and there will be others. Florida is probably one of them as well. We've been watching the Florida positivity rate rise for COVID on Walgreens data, and we'll have to see what happens in Texas and some of the other southern states. Already Louisiana, we've been watching that. Uh, Louisiana's starting to rise, and that's concerning there, because Louisiana kind of did get hit hard in the wintertime for COVID, and one of the reasons being you got Mardi Gras, you have the winter surge of viruses, you have the Super Bowl down in New Orleans, a lot of different things there that just caused Louisiana to have a bad year, and of course, uh, non-U.S. state, but kind of related a good bellwether for the u.s is also puerto rico and we've been watching puerto rico covid cases starting to increase all right in taiwan this is not good i do have this in my notes here taiwan doubles for covid yes they doubled for the number of uh outpatient and er visits they had last week Forty-one thousand four hundred and two new outpatient and ER visits. Remember, Thailand yesterday had that massive increase over 50,000. So uh, that was not good whatsoever. Now moving back here to the United States, New York State had 291 new COVID cases from what I could see. I was not able to see the hospitalization number. For some reason, when you're mobile on the phone, uh, if you're using Google Chrome, I use Google Chrome. I have an Android phone. Uh, it doesn't let me show the number of hospitalizations. I can go to the page and it just gets all choppy. I try, and it doesn't show me the most recent. It goes back a couple weeks, but not today's number. I don't know why that is even a problem whatsoever. Alrighty, we have to talk about this, and you notice I'm taking a deep breath when I talk about this. This is such a controversial subject, but it's in the news, and you need to know about it. Maybe you heard about it. Maybe you didn't hear about it. I'm sure there's going to be a million comments down below. Uh, you'd be amazed how many comments we get here on the channel that 
Sometimes I don't approve. Some people are probably saying, why aren't you approving our comments? Uh, I try to make this a family-friendly channel, and sometimes I get comments that are just totally ridiculous and uncalled for. Hey, if anyone wants to become a moderator on my channel, we could use one at this point for the comment section because it's really hard for me to keep up with these comments, and sometimes there's some replies to older videos or older comments that are maybe from a week ago and i don't always get to see them hey email me data report live at gmail.com email me down below uh we could really use a moderator on the channel to help me with approving these comments for times whether i'm out working i'm just not paying attention or there's just so many of them and uh maybe you want to be a moderator maybe you want to be someone who approves the comments and if no one wants to do it, that's fine, too. We'll get by. We've been getting by this whole time. But, hey, the channel's starting to grow now. And uh, we're going to need someone to uh, start approving comments. So, all right. So, here we go with the controversial subject. But it's in the news. RFK Jr. is making a change here. Or we'll say the HHS, the CDC, whoever. They're making a change. Healthy kids and pregnant women are now being removed from the vaccination immunization schedule. Yes, that is a new change that they're making for healthy people. I'm not going to say if I agree with it or not. Uh, you have your opinion. I have my opinion. I will just say this, that uh, I don't know. I don't think we're going in. I don't think the current administration is going in the correct direction. But at the same time, uh, things are constantly changing with COVID right now. The current vaccine. I got asked this qu a question the, uh, the other day by a family member. I'm going to be doing some trial. And should I get another booster right now? You know, I honestly don't have the correct answer to that. We are headed into this NB.1.8.1 variant. That's likely to be the summer variant. There's also this uh, XDR or XDV. Apologies if I get that wrong. Uh, there's also another variant out there. Uh, it's kind of uh, similar to it. Uh, the current booster is not really for that variant, but it's kind of for what we saw back during the winter time. We don't know what they're going to be covering for the fall. We don't know, even know if there's going to be a new booster for the fall. We're in a really strange time right now when it comes to COVID vaccination. And I get it. I get some people that watch these videos. It's the first time you've clicked on my channel and uh, you think, oh, well, he's doing these videos. He's forcing us. No, I'm not doing these videos each and every day to force you to put on a mask like this for COVID, or to force you to go out and get a vaccination. You make your own judgment. I'm just here to make you aware and informed of what the current situation is and what's going on. And then, of course, I get these people that say, oh, well, there were no viruses before COVID came around. Okay, stop. Listen to me. Why did they make the COVID vaccine? Because there's a virus that was circulating, and we want to prevent it or try to prevent it and prevent severe cases. Okay, uh, in the beginning, yes, we potentially were able to prevent cases, but then the virus mutated. Well, I get comments on that too. People that say, oh, well, the mutations is the vaccine. Okay, stop again. The virus started mutating before we had the vaccine. There were already new strains starting to pop up of COVID before people started becoming vaccinated. We had Alpha, we had Delta. Uh, the Delta variant of COVID back in 2021, uh, first cases of that started occurring before the majority of the population was vaccinated. So, I mean, yeah, uh, we could. And of course, there's almost so many people who aren't vaccinated and people who aren't vaccinated. Yeah. Hello. Yes. They're getting COVID too. Don't just say, oh, it's the vaccinated getting it. Well, then if that's the case, how come there are unvaccinated people testing positive and getting sick continuously as well? It's everyone, okay? The vaccine does greatly, significantly uh, reduce your chance of long COVID, hospitalization or death. Can it still happen? Yes, but it does do a good job. So uh, going forward, I don't really have the correct answer it's when someone asks me, should I get another booster shot before I go do some summer traveling? I don't have the correct answer to that. The best thing I can say is talk to your healthcare provider. They're going to have a lot better answer than I am because, again, we're in just such a strange time right now. All right, with this new variant that's coming, NB.1.8.1, what I'm seeing from the media, it's coming from media over in Asia. Uh, you know, I 
question reliability. I try to make sure I have good sources when I show news stories on my videos. Sometimes it's hard to do, but here's the early indications of what we're hearing. Worse sore throat and coughing is worse with this new variant, the sub-variant of COVID. Remember, we're still dealing with a sub-variant of Omicron. Omicron's the latest variant. These are just descendants. These are just children, you know, just the ancestors. Omicron's it's the ancestor and then you know, just it keeps it's a run on. We've had no new big change. Some will say we did, some will say we haven't. Uh, it is what it is, but uh, yes, it sounds like coffee and sore throat is worse with this new sub variant. We've seen this happen before. Each variant has different characteristics. We see different studies that say, well, the current rate of long COVID is such and such. Okay, that's great. That's from many variants ago. We're already on the next variant. This next subvariant could be completely different than the previous variant. We never know when we're going to get a more severe variant. We never know when we're going to get a more transmissible variant. We don't know until these variants start spreading. So right now we're starting to get some early indications that coughing and sore throat may be worse with this variant. Well, here's a problem with coughing. That's something that happens with allergies, and allergy season is still in full swing here in the United States and, you know, probably other parts of the world, UK. If you, anyone's from the UK down below, let me know. How's the allergy levels going there? I don't really track pollen levels there. Maybe I can. Is there a website for that? I would have to do some research for that. Maybe that would be something neat. Maybe we could also start uh, showing air qualities for other parts of the world as well. We need to do that. I think that's important. But uh, the point is, so far, symptoms just a little bit worse. Uh, probably overall, if you've had the vaccine, I would think uh, maybe you should be somewhat okay with this variant. But again, we're seeing all types of people going on to develop long COVID. So please uh, take this variant serious. Cases of this new variant are low in the United States right now. In the coming weeks, there are projections that they may start to go up. And if they do, you're going to want to make sure that uh, you're taking precautions, should you choose to. If you don't choose to take precautions, that is on you. I can't force you to do anything. You do what you feel is in the best interest for you and your family. Okay? So, uh, yeah, we're watching the cases or potentially start going up in Hawaii. We are already seeing the cases go up in Puerto Rico. That's going to continue over the next few weeks. And as we get further into the summer, the South and the West will start to rise. And eventually we'll see something happen in the Northeast. Uh, New York State at some point, that's going to flip. That's We're going to start seeing cases go higher there. And we're going to probably start seeing cases go up soon in Los Angeles and California. When precisely that will happen. I can't answer that question. I really can't. No one can answer that question. We'll just have to watch what happens in wastewater. Not rising in Los Angeles yet. And one other thing I want to address, and I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. There are some accounts out there on X that are posting these alarming uh, things. Oh, caution. Alarming new rise in um, California. Alarming new rise in New York City. I have a direct source from the CDC. Okay. Stop right there. Um, please be suspect of those accounts. Rumor control. Yeah, someone says something like that. Then it spreads like a wildfire. And everyone say, oh, did you hear it's starting to rise? Is it really true? And I get it. The data is not perfect. But uh, sometimes false rumors get started. And I've seen oh so many of that lately. Then you have things going in the opposite direction where people are saying this or that and they are minimizing long COVID. Let me make something perfectly clear. Here on my channel, you will never see me minimize long COVID. Why? There are millions of people in this world and country dealing with long COVID. Heck, I deal with long COVID. I even had a doctor saying my issues are uh, in relation to long COVID. I've had a specialist, my asthma out. Remember, my asthma and sleep doctor specialists say, yeah, the COVID can go on to cause different things. Your issues are definitely probably stemming from a COVID infection. I will never minimize long COVID. There are so many things we just don't know about long COVID. I don't care how low the cases ever go. It takes one case of COVID for you to go on to develop long COVID. Maybe you get lucky and you avoid long COVID with your case, but maybe you're unfortunate and just that one case of COVID 
whether you are completely healthy or not, goes on to uh, become long COVID. And because of that, we need to take this serious. We need to take every case of COVID serious. Alrighty, folks, I won't waste any more of your time. That's really all I have for today. Uh, we cleared up a lot of things that I have not talked about in a while that I have wanted to say just to clear the head. I thought today was a good day to be out in the wild. Uh, coughing, yeah, my coffee meter, we'll leave it Mm, we'll leave it at a five for right now. I think I said 5.5 before. I like to do that when I'm out in the wild. I'm hearing some people cough. Uh, COVID is very low here in Pennsylvania, right? I'm surprised. It still is. That's a good thing. We'll have to see if it starts rising soon. Uh, I will see everyone again tomorrow. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. And of course, leave your comments down below. Let me know. On these slower news days, do you want me to do more of these out in the wild updates? Or would you rather me uh, just try and find some additional things uh, such as wastewater sites or other things? You let me know. I'll do whatever you guys want. All right. Yep. Subscribe down below. And of course, if anyone wants to become a moderator, send me an email. Data report uh, live at gmail.com. I believe on our channel's about page, you can access that email address. And remember my website, datareport.info. See you all again tomorrow. Stay safe, everyone. Take care. Thanks for watching.